Hi, hello, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I talk about anything and everything, including travel, culture, science, technology, whatever it is I wanna talk about. And I have my cup of tea right here because I need caffeine. I immediately woke up and there are lights all over the place. I guess I could change the background, but eh. I, I had to put another light up and it's like blinding me over here, but it's so dark. It's like I live in Alaska over here. <laughs> anyway, all right, so today's topic is going to be about billionaire baddies and pandering to women for money. And we all know who they are. From the woman who lives in Hawaii to the woman who owns 10 houses and writes songs, continuous passive aggressive songs about all her boyfriends that none of us know who they're about. Just Easter egg clues and who also cannot handle other people's opinions. Gets really worked up when anyone even speculates that she could be bi. And what is wrong with that? I don't think people talk, especially when you're in the spotlight. If she thinks that's the worst of what people say, I don't know. I, I'm not going to name names, but we all know who it is. And I'm over also the publicity stunts, the lying, the conniving just to be a billionaire and pandering to women for more and more and more money. Knock it off. Because the reason why it's really, it's not the same of what men, which this person will go on and say, well, men can do it and men can do this. It's sexist. No, it's not. You're doing something different than what those men are doing. And that is immediately breaking up with whoever and then writing songs that we, no one knows who they're about. Yes. <laughs> and it's big publicity. It's, I mean, this person has a huge headlines in the news and then she's going to kind of claim that nobody knows who she's writing songs about or what she's doing. And then the same person cannot handle anybody else's opinions at all whatsoever and cries about it constantly. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really over it. And I'm, I'm really over these women pandering to women, acting like they're really for us and they're really speaking around about the tough issues. No, you're not. And you're not me. And uh, you don't stand for me. And I hope that other women wake up to your treachery. No, you don't do enough phila uh, philanthropy. No, you don't. Um, these people just do this for tax write-offs, and there is a. And then this whole oh, well, men could do it. If I could roll my eyes even more in the back of my head, if they they would just fall out of my head. <laughs> I am so over this whiny, whiny billionaire. Over it. Quit whining. You have everything. And yes, you are whining. <laughs> From your songs to the way you present yourself, you don't have that many real problems. And I just, you're not like the average population of women. You don't have the same problems. You don't have to deal with that. And then another thing I really don't like is when people, I feel like it's okay to acknowledge you can do better in the environmental area. And that's all you have to say. I could do better and I would like to be better. Instead, this person is like, why is anyone bringing that up? You know, what do you mean? Why is anyone bringing this up? You have, you have all the money <laughs> to choose differently, but you choose bad to do bad. And that's why people don't like it. And this person thinks that donating to food banks is enough. <laughs> I'm just so... Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, miss, for the food. Thank you for the handout. We really appreciate it. Thank you. That's what I feel like. Okay. You sound ignorant when you start going off and saying things that people's speculations are so rude about you. How dare they girl, go cry in your room then and write about it in your 10 year old journal. <laughs> My, I, uh, 
I gotta take a sip of tea. I'm getting worked up. This person just annoys me. We all know who I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna name them because they deserve the same treatment. <laughs> Trash. Anyway, I'm gonna keep drinking my drink. Ooh, it's warm. It's really nice. I don't really think she's trash, but that's what she said about all of us who don't agree with her opinions. Um, maybe. Who knows? That's also speculation. The news could have just said that, but still. And there's another thing. If you disliked a group of people and you kept talking about it in news articles and going on about it, how it devastated you. Why would you be friends with the woman at a sports game that models for your arch enemy? It's a publicity stunt. That's all it seems like to me. And I read something that was like, oh, well, she, um, she modeled for that before. Oh, how convenient. How convenient of a lie. And this person, I think, lies a lot. I think in their mind, it's just to make money. It's business. It doesn't mean anything. I have no idea, but anything that comes out of her mouth, she never ever to me says what is real or true. And now she's got her boyfriend on podcast doing talk about whatever. I guess it's a She's not cool enough to talk directly to the public about her real opinions, which would probably just be empty-headed anyway. And, um, she just doesn't face real struggles of women at all. And I'm starting to get a little bit, well, I've been insulted for a while. And you guys can say I'm jealous all you want, but it's not true because I liked them when... Um, they were millionaires. I didn't really have a problem with that. And I do have a problem with billionaires, but I don't really, it's not that it's the blatant using women to get rich. And people could say, well, that's business. That's how it is. That's just all it is. Right. It's so disappointing. It's disappointing and it's scummy. It's downright awful. Um, uh, I mean, I don't really, I don't think that people should be billionaires to begin with, but then they're right. To me, it's like riding on the coattails of other women just so this person can have all this power and money. And they don't really, to me, speak out enough or do enough in, of anything, really. Um, yeah, you know, dancing around stage half naked doesn't mean you're actually standing up for women. What world are you in? <laughs> La La Land or something, okay? Anyway, uh, I didn't really want this video to be very long. I wanted to just talk about this because it, this person, billionaire baddies right now, piss me off. The ones that are using women as this clutching, like this clutch to be billionaires it's not even like I could understand women who need to leg up you know and they gotta do some things to do what they gotta do and then eventually they get to where they are and they start actually mentoring and helping other women more and donating to those types of programs that actually help women and I'm not seeing this from this person whatsoever and like I said at the beginning of the video it's like Excuse me, miss, can I have a, a cup of oatmeal or some or porridge? Like, that's what I, that's what it's going to turn into. This person who thinks that nobody's allowed to have an opinion about her. Nobody's allowed to say anything about her. Um, and it's ridiculous. Get over yourself.